Hello everybody! So winter is upon us and I did these super cute clear jelly stamper penguin nails and let's dive in and take a peek at how I did this set. So while we are here, let's talk about scraping. Now if you guys seen there when I just scraped, I'm actually not applying very much pressure at all when I scrape. I'm lightly scraping at a 45 degree angle to just spread that polish into that embossed area and just rolling my stamper on top and plopping it down onto the nail. That's pretty much all I do. I know I get told all the time that I make it look easier than it actually is. Well, you know what? It is easy and all it takes is practice. And I believe you can do it too with throwing the old technique in the garbage with how we used to stamp and taking and embracing a whole new level of stamping. That's what Clear Jelly Stamper is all about. It's so easy once you grasp it. So let's talk about how to make that so much easier for you. Okay, so take those old scrapers and throw them in the garbage and those old stampers and just toss them. Just toss everything you know about it, okay? Let's start on a clean slate. So first off, let's talk about foundation. You can't have a good house without foundation. And you know what? It's the same thing, exact same thing with stamping. So if you see my surface in the background, it's got this beautiful detailed design in the background. And that's actually a stamping mat from Clear Jelly Stamper 2. This is the Tracy. And it is actually a silicone mat. So none of my plates slide around on here. So that makes it even easier when you scrape. You're actually having that really nice foundation by not having too much polish being scraped out of your image because you're pushing down trying to prevent your plate from running away on you. And you know what? With this it doesn't happen. So that is one thing you need to invest in. Like just do yourself a favor and order one. Like you don't even know how much life like it just, oh, I can't even tell you guys. Like it makes life so much easier. So now that we've talked about scraping, do we need to talk about stamping too? I think so. Okay, so let's talk about that. So next part, you scraped your image, you're ready to go, you're ready to pick it up. So you grab that stamper and you flick of the wrist across the top of that surface and your image will pick up not with pressure not with pushing down because like we said we tossed out the old technique in the garbage so let's imprint this new technique on you okay so remember to roll that stamper right across your image like my penguin image here Speaking of penguins, aren't these guys just so cute? My client likes penguins. So I figured I'd whip this plate out because why not? It's winter. So we had so much fun doing this. And I actually didn't get to record the other hand because I figured it wasn't necessary. It was pretty much the exact same thing. Just we put our penguins in a bit of a different order. So here, I'm actually starting to give these penguins some snowy dotted hills. I know dotted doesn't make much sense, but to me it does because why not? We got a comic book theme kind of going on. You know, these little penguins are just rolling around being all super cute and they got to have something to stand on, right? So why not these super cute little snowy hills? Well, we're pretty much at the end of our video now. I hope you guys had enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And stay tuned for future videos. All of the products I use today can be found below in the description box. Thanks!
った？